है व्हाट्सअप गाइज वेलकम बैक सो फाइनली वन प्लस सिक्स कॉड द लाइन जो है सेवनटीन एंड्रॉयड क्यू वर्जन दिस इज द फर्स्ट लाइन जो है अनऑफिशियल वर्जन एंड सरप्राइजिंगली दिस रॉम इज प्रिटी स्टेबल यू कैन यूज इट एज अ डेली ड्राइवर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फॉर द क्विक रिव्यू ऑफ द लाइन जो है सेवनटीन एंड इंस्टॉलेशन Before the flashing the ROM, you must be on the any version of the Android Pie Oxygen OS. Here I am using the 9.0.2, and this stable version should be on your both the slots of your device that is A and the B. So we have to download all the files from the link given in our video description. Then boot your device into the BlueSpark TWRP. Then Uh, if your device is not on the stable pi on the both the slot you have to first flash the stable pi version then you have to flash the blue spark twrp zip and then again you have to reboot your phone into the twrp you have to skip this step if you are already having the stable pi version on the both the slots then you have to wipe your device Now you have to click on the install, and now you have to flash the Linux OS 17. Zip. Then you have to again flash the TWRP zip. Again reboot your device into the recovery. Now at this stage you have to flash the OpenG apps. So here I am flashing the OpenG apps file, and that's it. You have to just click the reboot system button after the installation of G apps. After the reboot, you will see that there is nice logo of Linux on your device. Here is a normal launcher that comes with the Linux. When you goes under the settings and the about device, you will see that your device is now upgraded to Android version 10, that is the Android Q. Here you will see that the Linux version also that is the 17 and its date. Android security patch level is 5 September 2019 and this is the easter egg for the Android Q this rom is pretty stable there are very less bugs you can use this rom as a daily driver i will discuss some features of this rom and i will not go so much deeply in the review but i will uh, give the overview of this rom for you so first of all everything is working in this rom wifi is working bluetooth you do not disturb more flashlight everything is working auto rotation adaptive brightness is also working there night light is also working good so here adaptive brightness is also working the great thing is that the hold is also working on the both the slots for the hold enabled sim Dual 4G network is also working. Here alert slider is also working surprisingly and that is a good news. Uh, so it seems that the ROM is working properly and uh, fingerprint scanner is also working but there is a small bug that is you can't able to add the another fingerprint when you try to add the second fingerprint. So now we will discuss some features of the Lineage OS ROM. as this rom is a pure android version you can't see the lots of feature but here is some theming feature but this uh, style and the theming feature is not working you have to enable the developer mode and then at the bottom we'll see that the same settings that is you, you can able to set the ascent colors you can change your font style and you can also uh, able to change the icon shapes for that you have to enable the developer option Uh, for that you have to go to the settings about phone and then click the eight times on your uh, build number then you have to go to the system there you will see that uh, that developer option the another thing is that the dark mode is working great here you can see that when you enable the dark theme tab everything will goes under the dark mode but some system apps will not work uh, under the dark mode they will show the white background to solve that problem you have to again go to the developer option then you have to search for the override the 
force dark mode then you will see that this tab you have to just enable that and the every apps that are pre-installed on, on your phone that is the system apps like the play store or the phone app or the gmail will goes under the dark mode and it looks very good the another bug is that the expanded desktop mode is not opening there it getting forced close and you also get the full screen app option you get the double tap to wake and double tap to sleep on the lock screen it's working good but when you enable the always on display this double tap to wake option seems some buggy under the system setting you get some another customization options uh, here the great feature is the gestures the touch screen gestures are the gestures on the on screen mode the second one is jump to camera uh, here you have to long press double press the power button and it opens the camera directly here you can see that when we continuously double press the power button it opens the camera app the another feature is the system navigation gestures here the first option is the gesture navigation the second is the two button navigation when you select the second option you will see that the two buttons at the navigation bar and the last one is the normal three button navigation the gesture navigation is the uh, key feature here you can able to set the sensitivity for the uh, gesture navigation when you swipe up and hold at the center you will get uh, the recent apps and when you move your finger from the edges of the left or the right corner you will see some small uh, arrows and you can go back from anywhere and when you slide the this bottom bar you can switch between the different apps uh, simultaneously you can switch between the different apps in the forward or the backward mode under the button option there are some settings to apply the double tap long press settings for the navigation buttons so now we will see the camera application for the lineage os 17 here the this camera app is the normal you doesn't get any portrait mode uh, in this application i will give the link of oxygen os app uh, that is working with this rom uh, you can download and uh, install that app here you can see that uh, the sample of this camera app is good but they are not as good as the oxygen os camera application here are some settings available for the camera and the video recording the great thing is that the video recording is working at the 4k ultra hd for the back camera and the 180p for the front camera this camera is the simple one it only has the hdr feature except that there is no slow motion feature or the face beauty or the night sight feature that are comes with the Oxygen OS camera there is no slow motion also there so you have to download the Oxygen OS camera to get the all the feature under the display you get the another feature that is the always on ambient display so this always on ambient display is working good there are no any problems but it will conflict with the double tap to wake option Except all these things, this ROM comes with the lots of features that comes with the Android 10. But I will not discuss that features here because there are already lots of videos available at the YouTube. You can watch that, that videos. The another thing is that the gaming performance on this ROM is very good. I have tested the PUBG Mobile on this ROM and it's not showing me any heating issue on the high graphics also and the smoothness and the gaming performance is also good there are some small bugs like the inbuilt messaging app is not uh, showing any notifications so you have to download the google messaging app from the play store that is the alternate solution for this bug or you can use any another app the launcher that comes with this rom is the simple 
So I have downloaded the Google Pixel Launcher and the link of that Google Pixel Launcher is given under the video description. Uh, you can get all the features with this launcher that are missing with the inbuilt stock. In case of performance, this ROM can beat the option also. Because all the apps are working very smooth, you can switch between the different apps without any hassle. So that's it guys, like this video, subscribe our channel and press bell icon, go ahead and flash this ROM. It's pretty stable and there are no any major bugs with this ROM. So bye bye, take care, see you next time.